Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my haul from Lavender and Speckle Scents. This is from the February pre-order. I have so many goodies here in front of me. I have smelled everything already because I have no self-control. <laughs> so when I unpacked the box when I got it, I sniffed everything and I'm just over the moon about this order. So a couple paperwork items that you get. First up, you get a invoice, which I really love. Um, it has warm by dates. So all these are ready mid-March here. Love that she includes those on the invoice. I ordered this on February 10th and I got this on March 1st, I believe. So unbelievably speedy turnaround time for a pre-order, 10 out of 10. Anytime you shop with Beth, it's just a really amazing experience. So thank you, Beth, for a super quick turnaround and amazing pre-order. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So like I said, you get the invoice. You also get a business card, Lavender and Speckle Scents, owned by Beth Wilson and her, um, her husband, Matt. And then you get a thank you card. So it says thank you on this side. And then she does these monthly giveaways. If you post your haul on her Facebook or on her Instagram, she'll give away bags of wax, custom spots I've seen before. So I think it's really amazing that she does that. And it's always fun to see what other people get. So share your haul, post a picture on her um, Facebook page. Let's see what you got. What were your favorites? I think all of us enjoy going through the Facebook groups and, and seeing um, your pictures. So thank you for that. Now for the wax, I got one sample, a very, very generous size sample. This is the Barbershop slash Warm Vanilla Sugar. Got three bunts of it. So this is her new loaf formula. So it's a different formula than um, her bags. And so it says, let us know what you think. So I'm gonna test these out here pretty soon um, and see how they do in my home so I can give her any feedback if I have any. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing though. And of course this being Barbershop and Warm Vanilla Sugar, like I'm gonna love it. This smells amazing on cold. This is a really great mix of masculine and feminine because the, the barbershop leans a little more masculine to me. But then that warm vanilla sugar leans more feminine perfume to me. It brings kind of a coziness. This is a very cozy barbershop scent. I love this. I am so excited and so grateful to have such a generous size sample and be able to test your new loaf formula. So I definitely will be melting that here very soon to give some feedback. And then we get into <laughs> everything I bought. I have a lot of duplicates and then a couple of singles. So she offered all of her like beach night or her beach marshmallow is what she calls it. Um, beach marshmallow blends in this pre-order and so I got a lot of stuff because I love beach nights a lot of them I've tried some of them I hadn't and um I just wanted to get more of her beach nights so first one is beach marshmallow and palo santo so this one is marshmallow vanilla sea salt driftwood a hint of s'mores so her version of palos or her version of bath and body works beach nights and Palo Santo. So I have had this one before. Really, really enjoyed it. So since it was offered, I wanted to get it again. I really love her Palo and I really love her Beach Marshmallow. And so the combination of the two is just perfection. You get the smoky, woodsy Palo, but you get the creaminess of that Beach Nights. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. I almost kind of think I should have gotten two bags, but I got so much beach, beach marshmallow stuff here. I did have to <laughs> try to limit it in some way and she'll offer this again. But if you like Palo, if you like beach nights, highly recommend this one. Next, I got two bags of beach marshmallow cookies. This is a favorite scent from Lavender and Speckles. So this is the Beach Nights plus Marshmallow Clouds. So the Bath and Body Works Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds type and Sugar Cookie Royale. Got two of these. 
This is one of the best beach night type scents I've ever had. And I think it's just the perfect mix of notes for me. I love beach nights. I love boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Plus with the sugar cookie, this blends so beautifully together. For me, this is a scent that you really have to warm. I mean, it's beautiful on cold, but when you warm it, you like don't want to leave your house. You want to sit in your, on your couch, get all cozy, pop a movie in and just inhale this scent for the whole day because it smells so beautiful really comes to life on warm. So I think I've got one more bag in my collection. So now I have three bags. So I will be stocked up for a bit. But if you like Beach Nights at all, try this blend next time you see it. It's a 10 out of 10. Um, maybe I'll just do all the Beach Nights first because it's, it's most of the order. <laughs> so I got two bags of Blackberry Beach Marshmallow. This one also is a repurchase for me. This is Sweet Blackberries and Beach Nights. This scent, you guys, I, I warmed this a month or so ago and absolutely fell in love with it. And so I knew I needed more. The blackberry is very sweet. The blackberry is almost a teeny bit like macerated kind of candy very sweet sugary blackberry it is so good though mixed with the beach marshmallow oh my gosh love this one so much so definitely had to pick up a couple more of that um, let's see blue sugar beach marshmallow so I've never tried this one before. Um, I have never had a wax that's blue sugar and beach nights together. So I was really intrigued by this one. This is blue sugar, beach nights, vanilla sandalwood, and marshmallow fireside. I really love blue sugar, but it's definitely like a wintertime blend for me. I don't melt it much in the summer. It's a very kind of masculine scent. This is really pretty, although I really just kind of get that blue sugar and I get the sandalwood. The Beach Nights might be a little more in the background because it's more of your kind of creamy bakery notes, but I definitely get the blue sugar and the vanilla sandalwood and it is amazing. Yeah, so hoping the Beach Nights um, comes out a little bit more on this blend, but everything here is very freshly poured um, and so I know just... As her stuff sits, it changes and some of the notes pop out more and kind of mesh together. So I'm confident I will smell the beach nights on warm and just as it's had more time to kind of cure and blend together. But like that one on cold a lot. Okay. It wouldn't be a beach nights haul without just the plain, the plain one. So this is her beach marshmallow is what she um, calls her beach nights. So this is marshmallow, vanilla, sea salt, driftwood, and a hint of s'mores. So I have tried almost every vendor, every vendor that I purchased from, I have tried their beach nights probably. And um, I just, I can't get enough of it. And she has a really beautiful, very um, creamy beach nights. It does have kind of a slightly woodsy scent to my nose. Like if it's the... The driftwood, I kind of definitely get that driftwood and kind of sea salt scent a lot. It's beautiful. I love it. And I want to do a video soon of all of my Beach Night blends um, because I have individual oils. I have blends of Beach Nights and it's just one of my favorite oils ever. And so I really want to highlight it. And so I wanted to make sure I had some of her Beach Nights by itself to be able to try to incorporate in that video. Plus, I just love it. So glad I got two of those. And I think the last beach, beach marshmallow. I keep, I keep going back and forth between saying beach marshmallow and beach nights. So beach nights is the Bath and Body Works type that the note is, you know, based off of. But she calls it beach marshmallow. So if there's <laughs> confusion there. So the last one I got, I got two of um, because I just, <laughs> I knew that I was gonna love this. This is icy nights. 
So this one is Icy Vanilla Woods blended with her Beach Marshmallow. I love her Icy Vanilla Woods. If you have watched <laughs> my videos about lavender and speckles, I have been obsessed with her Ice Vanilla Woods for a good six to eight months now. And so when I saw this combination, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. And this is really, really good. The Ice Vanilla Woods definitely is a strong oil. It kind of overtakes the Beach Nights a little bit but I still can get that creamy vanilla note. And I know just as this cures more, that's gonna come out even more. Oh, this is so pretty. This is like your super fresh Beach Nights blend. Very winter, winter focused. I love the name too, Icy Nights. That's so, just gives you like the feels of being, um, this kind of gives me the feels of like being on the beach in a beach house in a snowstorm. So if you have a house in like, I don't know, like Maine or maybe in the Pacific Northwest or some place where you get snow as well as you have the water, this is, this is that. A cold night on the beach. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. This is going to be a new favorite. I'm not going to stop requesting this one. I just... I just know it. Okay, that's it for the Beach Night Blends. I do have some other stuff I want to share though. So I picked up two of Salted Pretzel Fireside Milkshake. This is a repurchase for me and one I requested for this pre-order. So thank you so much um, to Beth for pouring it. This is Salted Pretzel Vanilla Ice Cream Palo Santo and Marshmallow Fireside. This is just... Palo bakery goodness. You really get the Palo, but you get that vanilla ice cream, the marshmallow fireside. All of those notes just make this the most beautiful, creamy bakery Palo. I love this. This will make your whole house smell like a million bucks. Um, so glad to have more of it. It's just, it's one of those scents that I don't want to be without. I love it so much. Another repurchase from me is Suit and Tie. So this is Amber Barbershop Rosewood and Peppermint. So I guess I shouldn't say a repurchase. Beth actually very kindly gifted me this for the first time that I tried it. I think because it has the barbershop oil in it. And it was called something else. It was like Peppermint Rosewood or something like that. And I absolutely loved it. It is such a beautiful blend. I really like the amber in it. I like that the woody note, the peppermint is not too much. You know, sometimes peppermint can really take over a blend and not in this case. Um, it, it's, it, it's blended very well. So thank you to Beth for sending me my first one and it made me want to purchase a second one. I love this and you guys know I just love her barbershop oil. It smells like a high-end shaving cream. It smells amazing. So highly recommend if you like masculine scents, if you like shaving cream type scents, that one's really good. All right, and then last but not least, I had to save this one for last, the infamous Coastal Pine Cones. So this one has been really talked about in particular from Summer, Summer Michelle here on YouTube. I will list her channel down in the description box. Please go check her out if you haven't. I'm sure you know who she is. But she got her order early because she physically went and met Beth, which I'm super jealous. It sounds like so much fun. So she got her oil, or her oil, she got her order a couple of days after ordering um, just because they were going to meet up. So she's had the low down on Coastal Pine Cones for a couple of weeks now. So when it was getting close to shipping time, we were texting each other like, has your order shipped yet? Where's your order at? Oh, the order's here. Like, I'm, I'm unpacking the box. I'm going to go smell it. So I think we had a lot of fun with the uh, anticipation of smelling Coastal Pine Cones. I love pine cones. I love roasted pine cone. Beth has a great oil. So when this was on the list, I was like, yeah, for sure I'm getting some of that. And then just the anticipation <laughs> from summer hyping it up. I was so excited to, to get this and be able to smell it. So this is roasted pine cone with hints of lemon, marine air, and sea greens. 
Okay. My first sniff of this, and it depends on what sniff I get of it, I'm like 50-50 about it. Sometimes I smell it and I'm absolutely in love with it because I really get the pine cone. I really get the marine air, the sea green. And then the next sniff, I'll go in and smell it and I'll really get that lemon and the lemon is pulling a little bit lemon pledge to me. So I really do like this blend and the more I smell it, I think the more I like it. It's so unique. It's so fresh. It is the freshest pine cone ever. It makes me think of like, where would you have pine cones? Like Pacific Northwest, Northeast, something like that. Like a summertime pine cone scent. It smells unbelievable and I definitely want to get more. I'm just hoping that lemon doesn't come out too terribly much on warm. Because like right now I can smell it and I can barely smell the lemon at all. But sometimes I get a whiff of it and it's like very lemon forward to me. I think that's just me though because I'm not a huge lemon person. And you know how it is when it, there's an oil or a scent that you don't really care for. Like that's going to stand out to you. So that kind of stands out sometimes when I smell it. But the rest of the time it's like the creamy pine cone. Those greens. It's very fresh. Very summery. It's oh it's so good. So I have, I have high hopes for this one. I'm definitely going to pick up more of it. Um, I'm going to let this one sit a little bit, get nice and cured, melt it and see what I think. But I, I could see this being a staple, even if the lemon does come out, as long as it is blended really well with the other notes, like on warm, I think I'm going to really love this one. So I hope that you guys picked up Coastal Pine Cones too, and you got to try it um, because it is a really unique kind of special blend. But that is it. That is my entire February haul from the Lavender and Speckles pre-order. I would love to know what you guys got. Did you get any of these or what was your favorite from your order? And I think by the time I'm posting this video, the March order has already passed or it's at least close to passing. <laughs> so because I'm filming this a little bit early, you know, earlier in March. So her pre-order is March 16th, um, I think at 10 a.m. if I've not posted this too late. <laughs> we'll see. But if so, I hope you guys got a good um, haul for your March order as well. But that's enough of my jabbering. That's everything I have to share with you guys today. I really hope that you enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.